Nursing is an incredibly dynamic and beautiful profession. We are there on the front lines of care, meeting people where they are at, at the best of times in their lives, but then also at the very most difficult and challenging times of people's lives. We want to be in a position where we're meeting people 
that we are joyful and feel fulfilled about what we're doing and that will allow for better care and better care of ourselves. The ABCs is the mechanism for bringing the concept of infusing joy to life. Awareness, balance and purpose, and co-creation. These are all taking place simultaneously to infuse joy effectively. The A part stands for awareness. Awareness is about mastering your craft, being aware of your surroundings and where you're at and what you need to be successful. At the end of the day, you want to feel like you are in a position to, to take responsibility of what you need to do your job in the best capable way. The second element is to achieve or attain balance and purpose. Balance and purpose is on the individual to think about where they're at in their life cycle professionally, but also where they're at outside of work. Because in order to achieve balance, it's just not about who you are as a nurse. It's about who you are as a person. And what is your purpose where you're at? Purpose could be many things at different parts of your life. But once you have that purpose, it, it fuels you. It provides you with energy, mental energy, and energy to achieve joy in your environment. The third element is co-creation. And this is about creating an environment that allows for people to be aware and to have balance and purpose, to be successful. And that's taking a systems approach to infusing joy. Meaning that it, it, it can't be just nursing. It's about leaders sustaining a culture and developing a culture that will allow for the infusing of joy. My hope is that nurses can really understand and get the power and the wonder of nursing and what we do each day to make this incredible difference in the individuals and the world around us. Having that joy and seeing how that joy is, is interconnected. of Sigma Theta Tau here in the Cairo chapter and I would like to welcome all of you to the 2020 Sigma Honor Society I Honor Society for Nursing Sigma Theta Tau International Cairo chapter induction ceremony we are so delighted you are able to join us and we celebrate the special occasion together on this very special season of our lives I would like to take a moment to introduce our chapter leaders and our honored guests who are here with us today. I want to introduce myself as president, I just did that. We have with us Joanne McNeil, she is vice president and she will also be conducting our ceremonies this evening. We have Melinda Wildermuth, our treasurer, and Meg Dean, our counselor, and she also um, coordinated the, the selection and the invitation of all of your special um, opportunities to be inducted into the ceremony. I would also like to give a special thanks to Matt Bowles, our IT specialist who made this very special evening possible. He is a genius at technology and has really been very instrumental in supporting Sigma as an organization throughout the years and we would like to um, unofficially make him an official member. So <laughs> thank you Matt very much. All right. So with that, I will also like to thank our special guest, Teresa Wishman. You know her as our dean for the college, and uh, Joanne will introduce her later for her own remarks. Joanne, thank you. Thank you, Kim. Let's begin our induction. For more than 90 years, Sigma Theta Tau International, or sometimes known as STTI, has been recognizing and celebrating excellence in scholarship, leadership and service within nursing and midwifery. The Honor Society was founded in 1922 by six nursing students at Indiana University. From those six founding members, our organization has grown. Oh. Our organization has grown to 135,000 members, 
in more than 90 countries and has over 500 chapters worldwide. Sigma Theta Tau also collaborates with several organizations to improve the health of the world's people, including representation at the United Nations. This offers members the opportunity to extend their reach outside of their own communities. We are excited and filled with pride to welcome our new inductees here today into a group of diverse and global membership. STTI members are leaders at all levels of the healthcare industry. STTI only extends memberships to students who are baccalaureate or graduate level, who have demonstrated superior academic achievement, academic integrity, and professional leadership potential, and to nurse leader candidates exhibiting exceptional achievements in nursing. Our membership includes top-notch nursing executives, clinicians, educators, researchers, policymakers, entrepreneurs, and others. You are among this distinguished group of nurses, students and professionals who have met or exceeded the rigorous standards required to achieve an invitation to join STTI and you truly deserve our congratulations. The leadership and scholarship that you have displayed represent the essence of the society. You are Sigma Theta Tau. We are Sigma Theta Tau. Sigma Theta Tau, taken from the Greek words meaning love, courage, and honor. These Greek letters were chosen by our founders to be the Honor Society's name as they believe them to be enduring values that are the root of the nursing profession. Our crest, which adorns your membership certificate, symbolizes these enduring values, reminding us of our commitment to wisdom and discernment as represented by the I, service, professional endeavor, and strength of leadership as represented by the pillars of the stone on the right and left, and knowledge as represented by the lamp. Our key embedded in the professional membership pin reminds us of our charge to uphold love, courage, and honor and is a symbol of scholarship. The cup denotes the satisfaction of a professional life. The circle with its six stars represents our six founders. The lamp is the lamp of knowledge and the letters in black represent our charge. Remember that our key symbolizes your commitment to nursing excellence. The purpose of this ceremony is not only to honor you as a new member and celebrate your successes, but it also serves as our pledge to you to support you throughout your nursing career and to be a lifelong resource to you. This support will come in part through the opportunity to participate in STTI's communities of interest mentoring programs, and academies. You will also have access to benefits such as continuing nursing education courses, the Journal of Nursing Scholarship, world views on evidence-based nursing, and reflections on nursing leadership. And I will make a side comment. I'm a regular reader and user of all three of those journals and that's not a paid advertisement. Um, you know, I continue to use these on a daily, sometimes more than once a day basis. Your induction is not the end. The culmination of your scholarly or professional achievements instead 
Your induction signifies the beginning of your membership journey, the start of your involvement within a global network of peers and mentors who are here to guide you and support you wherever your nursing career may take you. At this time, we will receive into membership these outstanding new members. Inductees, please stand. Please accept the privileges and responsibilities of membership in the Honor Society of Nursing, Sigma Theta Tau International, by repeating after me. I accept membership into Sigma Theta Tau International. I accept membership into Sigma Theta Tau International. And I pledge to fulfill its commitment. And I pledge to fulfill its commitment. To nursing excellence, knowledge, service, and leadership. To nursing excellence, knowledge, service, and leadership. Throughout my career. Throughout my career. You may be seated. Help us congratulate and recognize Cairo's new members. <laughs> new members, please come forward when your name is called to receive your certificate and sign your name in the Cairo record of membership. Stacy Ayers in absentia, Brett Clausen in absentia, Elizabeth Cunningham in absentia, Kayla DeMay, Shirley Feldman in absentia, Brianna Flynn in absentia, Emily Haygood in absentia, Samantha Irwin, Taylor Jakes, Hong Yi Kim. Bailey McCune, <clears throat> Cassandra Shetler. Kelsey Smith, Samantha Walker in absentia. Please help me congratulate these new Sigma Theta Tau International members with our applause. Now that you are official members of STTI, the opportunities to become involved, to grow and develop as leaders, and to contribute to the nursing profession are virtually endless. Per personally, I have been in, uh, enjoying being a member of Sigma Theta Tau, not only for reading the journals, 
but i became a member in chapter alpha sigma at seattle university in the nineteen seventy s that's the other century and throughout my time i have kept in contact with colleagues like ah colleagues from that chapter as well as develop new relationships here in the quad cities that i will forever treasure but i've been um, able to have the opportunity to work with individuals virtually who come from other countries as we care for people and in my current profession that is taking care of the mentally ill and individuals sub suffering from substance use disorders from literally all over the world. So our, our new normal has really created opportunities for us to all continue to care for people. Each of you will experience membership in your own way. In fact, STTI membership is an experience that is yours to design, and I hope you will make use of the many opportunities that membership has to offer. Not only do you have the opportunity to be involved locally, but there are opportunities to participate in this global organization on a regional and international level as well. Each biennium, Sigma installs a new president at the international level. At the 45th Biennial Convention, we proudly installed Richard Rickick Artie, with a lot of letters after his name, and introduced him as the 33rd president of Sigma. Each president presents a call to action to help guide members and chapters as we strive to reach our full mission. President Rick Accardi calls us to infuse joy to achieve Sigma's vision of global nursing excellence. The president asks us to infuse joy in all we do. All healthcare workers face challenges that can trigger burnout, such as staffing shortages, incivility or violence, lack of control in the workplace, barriers to education, misaligned policies and regulations, and pandemics. Instead of viewing these issues as insurmountable and inevitable, he asks us to seize the opportunity to improve our experiences and work cultures. As Sigma members, as Sigma members, we are well positioned to infuse joy into practice in clinical, administrative, research, and policy settings. President Ricciardi call to action highlights three essential elements, the ABCs that promote joy, awareness, balance and purpose, and co-creation. Awareness is essential for joy. Awareness includes a clear understanding of the knowledge, skills, and abilities needed to fulfill our professional responsibilities and achieve our goals. When we are competent, confident, and have mastery over our work, joy can flourish. Awareness comes from deep scientific knowledge, continuous development, and autonomy and accountability for the actions that produce results. Balance and purpose are required elements for joy. As we strengthen scientific, technical, and leadership expertise, we must find balance by taking care of ourselves, finding our own joy, and discovering a motivating purpose. Achieving balance and purpose requires us to make time for creativity and serendipity, mindfulness and rest, activities that foster health and well-being, as well as the gratitude, service to others, and philanthropy. Co-creation. As competent, confident nurses acting with balance and purpose, we can take the next step to infusing joy. We must take a systems approach and work with other healthcare professionals, patients, families, 
and work with our communities to co-create an environment rich in joy. Co-creating includes relationship building, using team science, recognizing interdependencies, having a shared mental organizational model, taking pride in one's work, and instituting policy initiatives to support a joyful organizational culture. Hence, all the reasons that you've all experienced those courses in your curriculum, that you wondered, oh, what am I gonna do with this? And those are all geared to help you achieve these three components. I want to take a moment to recognize and thank the friends and families who are online to celebrate this special occasion with us. It is because of your love and support that these new members were able to reach this level of success and you should take pride in the role you have played. At this time, I would like to introduce Dr. Teresa Wishman, Dean, Trinity College of Nursing and Health Sciences for a few remarks. Good evening, everybody. Um, I would just like to be one of the first to offer my congratulations. Um, this year has definitely um, brought some an, unexpected events to say the least um, but through it all you've all persevered um, your dedication and hard work in the nursing program and in your quest to become an RN um, created this opportunity for your induction into Sigma this is an honor that will uh, that you should be very proud of and this distinction is going to set you apart from others for the remainder of your career um, and again, congratulations. I'm happy you were able to be here tonight and hopefully you can go home and celebrate um, and then celebrate again in a week and a half at graduation. Thank you. And at this time, when you talk about um, being separated uh, or being a part of something great, I do want to acknowledge Emily Sharp I sincerely apologize, but we, the, she's not the least, she might be the last, but certainly not the least. So Emily, thank you very much for being part of our ceremony, even if that, you're the last one whose name is called. And I guess I'm gonna um, probably lose my paycheck for this blunder, <laughs> I want you guys to know. So no paycheck for Joanne on this one. <laughs> As we conclude our ceremony, I want again congratulate you and welcome the newest members of Sigma Theta Tau International. Thank you. <laughs> 